Hi everyone, this is Kate with the Fisheries and Oceans Canada Stream to Sea program. In this video, we'll take a look at some salmon eggs as they hatch into Alevin. In our last video, we watched salmon eggs being counted and bundled up at the hatchery and then transported to our classroom aquarium. We placed the eggs into a floating egg basket so we could observe them. The eggs have been in the aquarium for about 25 days and they're getting ready to hatch. We know they're about to hatch because of this foam on the surface of the water. The alevin inside the egg produces an enzyme that helps break down the eggshell or membrane. This enzyme is toxic to the alevin and in nature would be rinsed away by the flowing stream. In our classroom aquarium, the filters in our pump remove the enzyme and we can help it out by skimming some of the foam off of the surface. When the eggshell weakens enough, the alevin wiggles out of it. The yolk sac stays attached and provides the alevin with the food it needs. An alevin can live off its yolk sac for two to three months. The yolk sac shrinks as the alevin gets stronger and develops teeth, eyes, and a digestive system. The spaces in our egg basket are big enough for most alevin to slip through, but some need a bit of help to get to the bottom of the tank. Once all of the eggs have hatched, we carefully tip any remaining alevin out of the basket. Alevin aren't great swimmers yet, so they'll spend the next few months hiding in the gravel. In nature, the alevin would be hiding from predators in the darkness of the stream gravel right now. They're quite sensitive to light, so we keep the jacket around the aquarium closed up tight unless we're checking on them. We'll check back in on our alevin as they continue to grow and turn into fry and begin swimming around the tank.